Back again, changed my camera camera angle a little bit. I'm gonna see if I can let a little more light in so there's not much sh like a shadow over the back of the cards like when they were over here. So let me know which one you like better. I can go back to the old way. I'm just trying to get a little better picture of the cards whenever I sit them down. But got another mail day here, some recent pickups. And uh, we're gonna call this one Young Superstars. And um, I don't know, I guess a young superstar would be somebody that's, in my opinion, under, you know, maybe 26, 27 years old. Probably 26. Um, <clears throat> so uh, let's get started. And these are just miscellaneous pickups I made, guys. Some of the cards that I wanted. Maybe I had a few, wanted more. Um, just some of the young stars in the game. And a couple of these I pulled, or maybe at least one, so I'll show that as well. Uh, but the first guy I'm going to show, and he's probably the oldest, is uh, is Alex Bregman. This is his um, flagship rookie card, gold. As you can see, it's kind of hard to tell this season. It was 2017, the gold is down there. But there's uh, two, three. I picked up four of these, and they're numbered on the back. Right, and they're hard to see this year. It's right there. It's really, they made it really difficult to see. But um, these are very affordable um, for one reason or another. You can probably guess. Some people are probably still can't let it go about the trash can stuff. But I mean, that's been three years ago. I mean, they they paid their they paid their dues. Um, this guy started off on fire this year. Um, it had a little hamstring issue, went on the IL, came back. I still, I still think he's around 300, uh, but uh, driving in a lot of runs, got three or four bombs. Uh, guys, um, he's already got over 100 career home runs. So, And if you know anything about this guy, Alex Bregman, he is driven to be great. So um, wanted to pick up some of these, and I think the pop report on these is really low in a PSA 10 if you go – and check it out. I think it's around five or six cards have only been graded in this. So <clears throat> huge potential in that card, um, especially if he keeps having a, uh, a Hall of Fame career, which I believe he's on right now. All right, next we will show a guy that, man, I just, I was not a believer in this guy, and I'd never had bought any of his cards. And I can still say I've never bought a slab card, but. Here is a Shohei Otani who is just ridiculously on fire. Um, this, the reason I bought this, as you can probably tell, this is his camo gold cup. These are only numbered out of 25. And got this card for right at, I want to say 100 bucks, maybe less. I can't remember. I made an offer and the guy took it. But this guy's got, I think he hit eight home runs in April and um, pitching as well, doing pretty well on the mound, striking a lot of guys out. He had a hundred something mile per hour fastball. But uh, the thing I noticed about this guy and the reason I was always down on him was injuries. Um, he always was injured. But if, if you look at him this year, the dude has bulked up. I mean, his arms, they don't look like this anymore. I mean, there's actually a photo of him without, without a, with a cutoff on. I didn't realize he was 6'4", about 230 pounds. This dude has gotten big, and you can tell he is hitting some bombs. So I, I, I haven't picked up. This is like the only card I've picked up. I, there might be one other, but the Shohei Camo out of 25, had to have it. So picked it up. Um, that might be a, a pretty good investment down the line because if you comp Juan Soto and Ronald Acuna camos like this, they're off the chart. They're thousands and thousands of dollars. So uh, next guy is having a good year and uh, had a great year last year, young superstar. I actually pulled this card. Maybe if you, some of you saw it on camera. The Bo Bichette Topps Chrome X-Fractor. Pulled this myself. Pretty excited about that. Um, the Bow Show. 
If you guys are probably wondering or asking, or maybe you haven't, I'll let you know. These one touches, they're not, they're not your typical one touch. I think I've talked about this before. This is a new breed of one touches. Um, they are able, you're able to put a penny sleeve over your card and into the one touch. It's really, really cool. It's got a five year UV rating to protect the card. Um, man, they're, they're solid. They're really solid. The card doesn't move at all. Doesn't shake because that penny sleeves in there fits perfect. So, um, if any of y'all interested, leave me a comment and I'll, and I'll reply back to your comment on the type of one touch these are, but there's the Bosch Bichette X-Fractor. Next young superstar, and this guy's killing it. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He's 22. This is his 2019 uh, Optic Refractor Autographed card. These aren't numbered, but as you can see, it's a prism. Uh, picked this up for about $100. I think he's got eight homers and he's batting 350. Um, the weight loss has definitely helped. And that was one thing I was very hard on him about in previous videos last year was his weight. And as you can see with the weight loss, he has, he has turned into a fine ball player. So that is the optic uh, Vladdy. Uh, let's see. Here is his Topps Gold. From 2019 update. This is a, in a Beckett 9.5, and you can see they're numbered up there. This is a Jim Mint 9.5. It got a, uh, this is actually the best and sharpest copy I got. As you can see, this is a, uh, this got 9.5s. Is it focusing? Can you see it? I'm trying to get the glare off of it. But it got a uh, got nine five on centering, nine five edges, nine five corners, and ten on surface. So solid copy there of Vladdy's uh, Gold Cup, uh, not Gold Cup, but uh, flagship Gold card. I actually have two of those. This is in the uh, shout out to Firebox um, cases. They have their own. They have their own one fit sleeves now and this is the black so i think that looks really good the black on the gold being a saints fan i'm pretty partial to that but um there's the vladdy this one is a nine five but it's it got a nine on corners and the glare with these one touches is horrible i'm sorry about that but there's the vladdy um in the one touch black from firebox and you can order those off their website uh, about a week they came in, so I'm actually wanting another case from them. They're out of stock still. The guy's going to, Matt is going to let me know when they're back in stock. I think he said end of May, but <clears throat> all right, one more guy, the young superstars. Um, this guy, if you don't know about him, then you've got your head in a rock. You need to be hit with a rock. This is Raphael Devers, Topps Chrome, rookie card, orange refractor, out of 25 auto, this is, uh, how old is this guy, 24? He's 24 years old. Uh, this year he's already batting 300. I think he hit seven home runs in the month of April and maybe close to 20 RBI, so he's off to a torrid start. He's in a huge market, the Red Sox. You know, they traded away Mookie Betts. They're... they're they're needing a young superstar, and this is the guy. This guy can flat out hit. And if you look at this guy, you go, that guy, that guy doesn't impress me. Physically, you look at him, you go like, that guy can't hit. David Ortiz looked like he ate a six-pack of donuts before every at-bat. I'm going to tell you something, and this guy's not out of shape. He can flat out hit. Raphael Devers, I'm high on this dude. Um... I actually got this off Com C, so this was a this is a great pickup and got it. It was very affordable. Let me see if I can get that stand up. Yeah, I can. Cool. And one more Devers, 
And this is, I'm gonna take this out of the sleeve because it leaves such a, a glare. Uh, reached out to a guy on Instagram, shameless plug, at BigErmus33, go follow me. I'm pretty much famous, just kidding, but I am. And I made a deal for this Devers. This is a PSA 9. Same card, but it's slabbed. Orange refractor. Out of 25. And the guy that sold it to me, real cool guy, we both looked this over. And I think, and, and he feels the same, that PSA hit this card with a 9. Let me tell you why I think they did. Because I got my jeweler eye out. The corners are sharp. And PSA is not picky on on centering, especially borderless cards. We think they hit us with a nine because of that. It's numbered 20 out of 25, but look at the zero. It's kind of like filled in. And that's the only thing we can find, guys. So I think PSA just got their panties in a wad that day and went, you know what? That's a nine. So this might be a, uh, this is a strong snap to BGS. I think Beckett, this is, I think this is a true gem 9.5 with Beckett with 9.5s across the board with, with a couple of 10s. You know, the centering, the surface, maybe the edges, they might all get 10s. You never know. Heck, this thing could gem. Depends on if Beckett is, is, uh, going to hammer you over that. So, anyways, love the card. Uh, got a great deal on it. The guy was super awesome. But that's my pickup. Superstars. Young superstars. So, um, let me a comment below. Let me know who your favorites are. Did you have a favorite in this group? Who do you think out of Guerrero, Bichette, Otani, Bregman, and Devers is going to have the best year. I'd love to hear that. So uh, that's going to do it, guys. we got a lot more videos to go to, but hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one.